Hi guys, welcome back. Today I am here with a scoopable tart wax um, haul. I had placed my order on Friday. Did she open Friday? I believe she opened Friday. Yes, I placed my order Friday. Um, I wound up going in twice. I did my first order was stuff that I had on my list, stuff I wanted to do. You can see the dog's tail wagon. Um, go lay down. Um, so anyways, I had... Um, I placed my first order with my list of things that I really wanted that I knew would probably either sell out or come close to selling out. I didn't want that to happen. So I grabbed those. Then I went back in for a mystery box. Um, I'm not one that usually likes mystery boxes, but in this case, I did really well. Like you get six jars in the mystery box and there were only five two I did not like so I had four that I like so it was a, it was great so I'm gonna jump right in the sample I got was fresh lemon sugar and this one's really nice it's you know fresh lemon and it's got that sugar note I really enjoy that and they come in a polypropylene bag which I like all right so the first one I got, this was from my mystery box. It's Greased Lightning. And the scent notes on that are Strawberry Jam, Strawberry Shortcake, and Cup of Cake. And I wrote an M <laughs> on the ones that were from the mystery box so I'd remember which ones were which. And this smells so good. It's very strawberry, which I love strawberry scents. And so, yeah, I'm really, really going to enjoy that. So what I do is I write the, the, the name, the date that I got it, 8 of 2017, and then, like I said, I put the M for the mystery. That way, when I'm doing my haul, I can remember which ones are which. Um, I store them in one of those 16 quart Sterilite containers, so they're like this, so I don't have to flip through to see what I have. I can see from the tops. That's why I labeled the lids. The next one I got is Peppermint Coconut Mallow. It's Gilligan's Brew Marshmallow Smoothie and Peppermint. This one I had gotten in the last, in the July restock, and I really like it. I love peppermint scents. And even though this has Gilligan's Brew, which is a summery scent, I would melt this like in the winter with the peppermint. Um, so yeah, I'm weird. The next one I got is Stuck On You. It's salted caramel, toffee, apple, rice crispy treats, and marshmallow smoothie. And this smells really good. I get um, the toffee apple and I get the salted caramel. And so that's going to be a really good transition into fall. This is going to be one that I will melt probably the middle to end of September. The next one is a cookie dough waffle cone wackadoodle. It's cookie dough waffle cone and wackadoodle. I don't even know what wackadoodle is. If somebody can tell me, Angie, maybe because Angie is admin and knows these things. Or anybody else for that matter. If anybody can tell me what wackadoodle is, every time I search it in the group, it doesn't come up with a scent description. It just says, everybody loves wackadoodle. And this one, it's just very nice bakery. It is light, but they need to cure, so I'm not expecting them to smell super strong yet. The next one is pumpkin cream cheese French toast. It's sweet pumpkin pie, cream cheese frosting, and French toast. And this one, I thought would be real good for like October. You know, because pumpkin pie is more, or November, sorry, November. So... That one I'm going to save for November because it smells real good. And that would be like pumpkin pie is a Thanksgiving staple. Um, 2,500 calories. It's sugared cake, donuts, raspberry jelly, whipped cream. This is one that I really wanted. This was one of the reasons that I placed the order. Because I love 2,500 calories from Rose Girls. So I wanted to grab... I wanted to grab it in scoopable form. I tend to get a better throw from scoopables than I do from Rose Girls chunks, but I do get a good throw from Rose Girls, but it seems to be a little bit better with scoopables. So this one I got in my mystery box. It's oh so jelly for French toast. And I assume it's French toast and strawberry jam. I don't know. All I know it smells good. And this is one that I will probably do in the fall or winter because it's kind of like a homey bakery type scent. This one I got in my mystery box as well, and it's Struzel Kuchin. <laughs> I know I can't say that right, and I don't know what that is either. I know if I search it, I will find the scent description, but I haven't. I do know this is a very sought-after scent for blending or using by itself, so I'm glad to have that. This one was also in my mystery box. It's Spearmint, and I'm so excited for this because I have mini melters in Strawberry Jam, 
and I have a scoopable in a uh, marshmallow smoothie and so spearmint and so I can recreate my strawberry spearmint smoothie or whatever it is is it strawberry spearmint marshmallow or whatever I love it so much so I can now recreate it I'm so excited so that's good nice spearmint I love spearmint um, the next one is stuffed strawberry wafers. It's strawberry jam, vanilla wafers, cream cheese frosting. And this does, this smells just like vanilla wafers, strawberry jam, and I get a hint of the cream cheese. The next one is marshmallow smoothie, a decadently delightful scent of scrumptious and smooth ribbons of melted marshmallows trailing down a mountain of pure vanilla bean ice cream. This is one that I love. And this is one, this is one that I will melt, mix with the spearmint and the strawberry jam to make that strawberry spearmint mallow or whatever it is. It smells so good. That's gonna be such a good blender. The next one is blueberry whipped cream cider. It's blueberry cider lane whipped cream. This is the other one that I was wanting to order. This and the 2500 calories were the two I, I placed the order for, but I wasn't just gonna get two. So I grabbed some more. And this is so good. I get the blueberry and then I get the cider lane. And the last one is Sleepy Hollow. It's cider lane, cider donut, and pretzel. So this is another one that's going to be good for like late September, early October. And it's very cidery. I don't get a whole lot of pretzel yet, but again, these need to cure. Um, it is the last day of August, so I will let these cure till probably 1st of October. Excuse me, 1st of October, because I... Plenty to melt in September. Even though I like cider scents in September, I'm going to let these cure for the whole month of September and I will start melting the um, the cider and pumpkin ones. Or the cider ones I'll probably do in October and then I'll do the pumpkin ones in November. Because um, like I said, I have plenty of other vendor wax to melt while these cure. They smell amazing. I have actually melted quite a few scoopables um, so far this week. And I have so far had really, really, really good luck. Um, they've all smelled super strong. They've all done really well and just lasted, you know, at least, you know, eight to ten hours. I have had really, really good luck. So I am so excited to have more scoopables under my belt. Um, this is probably the last scoopable haul you will see for a while just because I am trying to start my band. Um, I have two things I'm doing tomorrow and then I am officially starting my band. Um, so yeah, you'll see empties. You'll see a few hauls trickle in because like, um, one thing I'm ordering tomorrow is a pre-order and it won't be in until October. So that is one that you will see hauled later on. Um, and so I have a couple others that were not ready to ship that I've placed that will be middle or so of September. So you'll see a couple more hauls, but not much because I am trickling down I am at the end of my hauling um till about the holidays um I've done my budget for the next three months and we can pay off quite a bit of bills if I can stick to my no buy so I'm gonna start after I place those two purchases on Friday which is tomorrow and yeah I hope I, I, I hope to stick to it so anyways I hope you all enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you later bye